Hello, hello. My name's Heen and I'm a product specialist from Roly. Today I'd like to give you a quick overview of our new, newly released software called Blocks Dashboard. It's designed to help you integrate the, your modular music studio, your blocks, right into your DAW, your plugins and your software. So, I mean, so far, when we have, we've basically launched it, uh, the Roly blocks with the noise app and it's very much a self-contained system which works very well within its own however for us professionals music producers we really need the hardware to work with our software and this is exactly what blocks dashboard does so let me show you how it works once you've connected any blocks um, to your computer via Bluetooth or the provided USB cable here then they're gonna show up in blocks dashboard you can give them a tap to know which one's which, right? So, yeah, you know where I am. And basically, using Blocks Dashboard, I've configured my own little studio setup right here. Um, let's have a look at this. So, um, right here, I've got this pad configured. I mean, one, one way of thinking about this is you're basically turning them into MIDI controllers, and you can specify exactly their MIDI behavior. So this one right now, if we click onto it, it's got the drum block mode loaded. And if I click on browse, you get a selection of different scripts for you to kind of set your blocks to do. So you can set it to do play melody for melodic block mode, like this one. Uh, this one is in melo melodic block mode. So you actually get a two octave kind of controller in this mode. So if you are using it to control plugins, maybe playing some bass or synth, then this is the mode you want. If you're playing drums, you can easily configure it into drum block mode. So let's get inside drum block mode and see what options we have. There's some basic kind of MIDI functionalities you can tweak. You can also reconfigure the grid size to whatever uh, number by number. So right now it's two by two and you get a two by two block. And the idea of this modular music studio is so that you can really fine tune exactly what they do. And you can start off with something as small as just a light pad, and you get all these options of turning the light pad into faders, um, into buttons, into XYZ pad, even. The possibilities are endless. Um, at this stage, we've, since we've just released the uh, software and there's a limited amount of scripts. Uh, currently we're, we're just working on writing more and more kind of pre-mapped scripts so you could work with um, logic mapped pad blog or maybe have it mapped with Ableton. So let me show you what I've done to my setup right now and I'm using it to control Ableton Live. So here, um, let's go back to this and change the block. I want my 4x4 four four back. Um, um, so, right now, I got my 4x4 four four map to the drum for my drum instrument. So, it works very well as a finger drumming, like drum controller as well. Then, if I have some bass line I want to like lay down, then. I can use my melody block. And the great thing about this is the light pad block is packed with our Seabot technology, which allows you to manipulate sound with 5D touch, like using gestures. So it's compatible to all other synthesizers on the market, on uh, plugins. All of the data is sent by MIDI. So you have velocity, you have channel pressure, you have uh, CC74 going up and down, you have pitch bend left and right, and finally release velocity. Um, I mean, yeah, and also you can use it to control like um, some pad sounds. So yeah, 
you basically have a super portable, expressive controller at a kind of pocket size, which you can grow out. Um, here I have some faders. So as you can see, there's the reverb channel here. Uh, it's controlling the wetness. Another fader controlling the delay. And also some like kind of beat, beat variation stuff happening on the other faders. And I also have on the bottom left uh, an XY pad. So here I'm using it as a massive XY pad. And as you can see, it's controlling the whole auto filter of the master channel. So I could do build ups very easily. And finally, this one uh, I haven't configured it. So anyway, let, let's see what we have going on. And also, the, this mixer block mode, you have some buttons. I'm using it to control the mute and unmute of the four drum tracks. So let's see what we have. Where you can record and you can record. So right now the bass is playing. I can play some pads. That's how you. That's how you build the song. Basically, that's just triggering loops. At the moment, we're like I'm creating this. At the moment, at the moment, you just you like layer them on top of each other and and turn them on or off. They can only be four chords. But you get the idea. So yeah, that's Holy Blocks. We launched it twice. How many blocks you need for controlling your your hardware? Able, you can control it now already with one already, or you need more. Um, it's completely up to you, depending on um, if you have money to get more pieces. Because um, what's so great about it is you could really start with just one block, as simple as one. And through Blocks Dashboard, you can reconfigure it to do whatever you want. Um, and then as you are building your set, building your kind of workflow, you can kind of add more and more pieces and design your own kind of aesthetics to your music studio. So that's, yeah, that's really the purpose of Blocks, I would say. So how much uh, they are uh, available now and how much money do you They want? are currently available for 199 euros per light pad. And yeah, and they've been available since October last year. So yeah, you can get them from Rolly And the dashboard is free of charge for users. Absolutely, it comes free and it's all very easy to do. Actually, one more point I'd like to show you is some of these, like if I select this pad, you, we also have the option of creating like your own little scripts. So let's have a look at this. I've loaded this script, which is basically, you can even turn your block into little gaming devices. Because we, along with all the hardware and software, we're also releasing an API for coding the blocks. So if you look at blocks dashboard, for all the scripts, you can actually go into this mode and you can see all the scripting environment. So if you if you understand coding, you want to get dive deeper and code your own MIDI behavior or what you, you want your blocks to do, then feel free to do that. Okay, so thank you. That's a quick have, run through. And have a good super move. Thank you very much.